Hello everyone! Welcome to an inky video with more Aziza aka Gourmet Pens and this is kind of like my specialty which is playing with inks and like showing you fun inks that I like and so I've got a whole bunch of new inks. Shall we take a look at the box? I'm gonna give you a hint. This is a large box full of ink from Ferris Wheel Press. Now um, you've seen Ferris Wheel Press on my stuff before. I've done a review of their brush fountain pen. It's called the brush fountain pen. It's a fountain pen that's shaped like a brush. And um, I've also done their initial run of inks as well as their most recent campaign, which was um, a set of notebooks. And I think this is sort of like my speciality. Ah, yes, my speciality. Um, so I wanted to show you the inks, give you a look at them, and then we're going to do a video, like you're gonna, we're gonna switch, and then I'm gonna do some writing, and so you can see the inks in action, see what they look like, and then we're just gonna have fun with it. So, uh, let's start. This is a sponsored video, just so you know. Okay, now, their packaging is killer, okay? Um, like honestly, it is to die for. It is beautiful packaging. They do their own, oh, like they've designed this themselves. They do all the stuff themselves. So it's like really beautiful stuff. Now, designed and made in Canada. I really like this line. I think it's really cute. Um, the whimsical sights, sounds, and nostalgia of the carnival dance with the rat-tat-tat of a traditional print shop. Now, if you look at their packaging, like you've got the little, you've got the typewriter, uh, sorry typewriter and then there is like their ink bottle there's a balloon there's um on their box there's a ferris wheel ferris wheel press so it's like the rat tat tat which is really fun now the inks there's six new inks wild uh, the first run was just three they're still around there's the bluegrass velvet candy marsala and uh, tanzanite sky these ones are a little lighter they are a little more uh, or a little less conservative i think they're a little more adventurous in terms of the color so why don't we why don't i show you one of these in a bit of detail yeah a little bit of detail and let me excite you a little bit because not in this video but coming up soon on my instagram if you follow me there which you should because you'll want to for what's coming up um, they are going to be doing a giveaway of an ink bottle of your choice, along with a set of their new ink chargers, which are little glass vials with metal tops, super cute, with three ink colors of your choice. So I'll show you what those are, just so you can see, so you can prepare for the Instagram giveaway. So you can follow me on there, and Ferris Wheel Press, because that's where the giveaway is going to be hosted. Okay, so each one of these inks comes in a beautiful container. Um, it is pretty solid and each one has its own little design elements. So this one's got pumpkins on it and it's got the same thing like the little, the hot air balloon and stuff. And so the name is written on here. Now we open it up, ta-da! The ink inside is in a little velvet sack, which is like wildly cute. So the ink bottle, I mean, the, sorry, the ink sack, the, the velvet sack matches the color of the bottle and the packaging, and it's got Ferris wheel press written on it, makers of iconic stationery. And in addition to that, you can use the velvet bag to like wipe down your bottle. Because inside that, here is your ink bottle. It, it, sorry about the ring. Uh, wait, the ring, whatever. Um, there we go. Wait, does that work? Let's just rotate it here. Oh, it's got a metal top and it's got Ferris wheel press written on the glass. It is really beautiful. In this case, you can see the co color of the ink a little bit, depending on the color, it depends. Um, but this is the orange. I'm gonna give you the names in just a second. I like it. The mouth is, oh, let's hope I don't spill anything or drop anything. The mouth is like a decent size. <laughs> yeah, so you can fit most large pens in here. I, I put um, like my Pelican and stuff is okay in here. But if you have something like super giant, you're gonna, like with any giant pen, you're not gonna be able to fit it in. Um, but that's okay, because for the typical pen, the average size pen, no problem. And your Ferris wheel brush found pen will fit with no issue. So this is the bottle. This is the little sack. 
And this is the little container. And what I really like about their containers is you can use it as a pen cup. You never know, you might need a pen cup. Now, let's just give you a rundown of the colors and then I will wrap up my face and then we can go look at the inks in action. So the orange is called Pumpkin Patch and because they are doing this in Canada, they want to like um, incorporate some French into here. So the French version is Champ de Citrouille, that is orange. And let's look at the orange ink swab, shall we? Here is the orange. Now, I know this is just a swab, so that's why I wanted to do some writing. We'll see it in different uh, scenarios, but um, you can see that it shades quite well. Really nice color. Next up, we have a deep blue called Jelly Bean Blue or Gelée de Bleu. And this is really cute. I really, I honestly, I just love these boxes. They're so beautiful. They, even if you're, you don't have any ink in them, they just make really nice photo props. And they look nice, just sitting around your room. So that's the blue, jelly bean blue, which makes me hungry. And this is it. It is a deep blue, shades as well, and it's got some red sheen, but it is not sticky, like a lot of uh, saturated blue inks that have red sheen. Not sticky, not smudgy. Next up, we have a beautiful green called Peppermint Drop, or Tourbillon de Mount. Beautiful. And the swab for this is here. It is definitely like a peppermint, spearmint type green with some green, uh, oh, sorry, red sheen. And again, um, there's no smudging, so that's a good thing. We've got, okay, if you don't know this about me, I will tell you. If something is named after food, I'm gonna fall for it, okay? So this one is called buttered popcorn, which I happen to love, uh, or maïs soufflé and I really like popcorn, and now I really want popcorn. And the swab, I'm really into yellow inks, so I was really excited about this one. Here is that swab. Legible, beautiful shading. Um, gets into like a like an amber when you're more saturated. And I'm, I really like this one, so there we go. We got a pink, Lady Rose, or Te à la Rose. Soft pink, kind of like a dusty pink, ever so slightly. There you go. Um, shades nicely as well. There's not much sheen on this one, and it's just it's just a lovely color. And last but not least, we have Grape Ice Pop or Creme de Cassie. And so we want to see what this one looks like. This one is really nice. Beautiful color. Totally like grape jelly, grape popsicle color. And let me just let me just do like a like an ink swab fan of sorts, of sorts. There you go, yay! Those are the six new Ferris wheel press colors. There are also the three existing ones, which are still available. And we have, I have them out. So you get like these fun little velvet sacks that hold your bottles and keep them safe. There you go. Nice little accessory to go in your um, in your container. The ink bottles are otherwise like unmarked. They're very classy. Like I really like their simple design, the logo. And now let me show you the ink chargers. Okay. So this is the little packaging it comes in. Super cute. Um, I'm going to just open it carefully because they're loose in there. Every great idea begins with a spark of imagination. What I really like is they, um, they, they post a lot of like inspirational things like to help you write, to help you feel inspired, to feel creative. And I think that's really fun. And so these are wildly cute, okay? So basically they're glass ink sample vials that just look way cooler than a plastic ink sample vial. Adorable, right? Super cute, really like them. Wait, there we go. And um, so again, if you head over to Instagram, not right now, but like when this video is published, not right now, but stay tuned because coming very soon, we're going to be giving away a bottle of ink and a set of ink chargers. Okay, everybody. I think that's enough chit chat from me. Let me try to hold this box up for you. Awesome. I love their theme. I love their packaging. I love their presentation. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I'm most excited about ink 
So these ink colors are really fun for me and there's names of foods in there like jelly bean and maïs souffle and grape ice pop which makes me hungry and it's summer and it's perfect. So enough of my chit chat, let's go take a look at how these write so you can see them in normal nibs because I know people are like, oh my god, your swabs are inaccurate. Well, they're accurate for swabs but they're inaccurate if you're writing with an extra fine nib. So let's go use a medium nib. We'll see how they function, how they perform, and how they look in regular use. And that's everything. So I'll see you guys in just a jiffy. Okay, do ah, it's rolling away. Okay, hello. Welcome to this part, which is the more fun part, I think. Um, I just want to show you some of the details of the box. I'm just gonna rotate one of them. Super cute. Very beautiful presentation. It's it's really quite lovely. Ink name is on top. The color of the box is quite representative of the ink. So if you have them stacked, you already know what's in there. Really nice. Now, here are some swabs. We could just take a look at the swabs in a little more detail. Um, okay, let's do this. Are they going to fit? Oh, they'll fit. I just, I'm just not good at the portioning. I mean, setting them up. There we go. Um, they're all really quite gorgeous. Obviously, these three are more saturated. These are a little lighter, but they all shade quite well. These three have a bit of sheen. These three do not. Really quite nice. Um, I don't find them dry. I actually think they're quite normal in terms of their flow. Drying times are pretty decent, like not super long or anything. So I'm pretty happy with them, and especially with the ones that have the sheen on them, they're not smudgy. So I've definitely used um, inks that have a lot of sheen, that are quite smudgy, and these are not, so that's really nice to know. And so there are my swabs. Now we're just going to switch to some writing with a medium nib. We're going to be using the brush fountain pen with just a medium nib, so you can see them in like quote-unquote normal use. But here is the more fun version of their use, and this is what I favor. But since this is fountain pen ink, you can also use it with dip pens and stuff. I guess we will try with regular writers. So there you go, 85 mils of ink, adorable packaging, really pretty colors. Um, it's like, it's definitely carnival-y and they're like happy and bright and I think you'll really like them. Um, I actually like all of them. I don't know which one I wouldn't want. I love the battered popcorn. These are just classic green and blue and orange. And this purple is delicious. So I'd pro if I had to pick two, I would do the battered popcorn and the grape ice pop. But that's just me. Everybody else will be different. There's your bottle. There is your little thingamajigger. And here is the container. Um, let's zoom out a bit, sorry. There you go. There's the container. These are obviously three different things, um, sorry. So there's that, and if you, again, you want to just take a quick look at the ink chargers. They're super cute. Ah! They're running away! Um, really cute for transport. Sorry. This is obviously much more difficult than I anticipated. Um, beautiful. Such cute little things. Please use creatively. It's like a little battery. Oh my goodness. I'm a sucker. So adorable. There you go. There's that. There's these, and there's the pouch, and there is the swabs. 
So I hope this gave you like an overview of the ink. So when they do come out, you can check them out. I'm gonna put links below for everything and make sure to stay tuned on Instagram for the giveaway of a bottle of ink and a set of ink chargers with three inks of your choice. Thank you to Ferris Wheel Press for sponsoring this video and providing these items so that I could share with you. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's everything folks, take care. We'll see you on the next video. I am Gourmet Pen signing out from YouTube, but you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon. And that's all. See you, bye.